how life began. The universe is about 4.6 billion years old. The formation of the Earth along with other planets of our solar system is believed to have occurred some 4.5 billion years ago. Life on Earth, however, probably began only between 3.5 and 4.0 billion years ago. The important question is, how was life first formed? Evidence from fossil records show that the oldest fossil resembled the once old organism like bacteria. How did life on Earth began? For some then the origin of life could be explained by the spontaneous generation theory, which states that life forms can be generated from inanimate objects. This belief had been around since the time of Aristotle. Francesco Ridi was able to disprove the spontaneous generation theory when he experimented by placing meat in all the jars but covered four of the jars with muslin. Maggots developed in the open jars but did not develop in the muslin covered jars. In the late 1700s, Lazzaro Spallanzani likewise tried to disprove the spontaneous generation theory by performing a controlled experiment with broth. He put broth into two flasks, glass containers and sterilized them both by boiling the broth. One of the flasks was left open to the air. The other flask was sealed up to keep out any organisms that might be floating in the air. Microorganisms developed only in the uncovered flask. From this, Spallanzani concluded that 1. The microorganisms did not come from the broth but were in the air that entered the flask too, therefore, not even microorganisms came from the living things. In 1953, Alexander Iopourine, a Russian scientist hypothesized that the atmosphere of primitive Earth contained gases like ammonia, methane, hydrogen and water vapor. He explained that energy of lightning and ultraviolet rays from the sun caused these gases to combine and form chemical compounds. As they mixed with rain and hot seas, they formed complex organic molecules, which was similar to what living things are made of. An American scientist, Stanley I. Miller performed an experiment using a mixture of the gases, suggested by Operine. He introduced electrical sparks into the mixture. After a few days, molecules similar to amino acids that are found in all living things, were formed. His experiment proved that the first organic molecules could have been formed from the primitive Earth. Living cells may have arisen on early Earth through a series of chemical combinations of these organic compounds. The Cellular Basis of Life The systematic study of the cellular basis of life was started when Robert Hooke first observed tiny compartments in a sliced piece of cork from a mature tree. He gave them the Latin name cellulae, meaning small rooms, hence the origin of the biological term cell. By 1839, the zoologist Theodore Schwann reported the presence of cells in animal tissues. Matthias Schleiden concluded that cells are present in all plant tissues. Then these observations came to be known as the first two principles of the cell theory. The cell theory states that 1. All living things are structurally made up of cells. 2. The cell is the fundamental unit of organizations for all organisms. 3. Cells come from the division of pre-existing cells. Not only was cell was viewed as the smallest living unit, the continuity of life was now seen to be arising directly from the division and growth of single cells. Some contributors to the cell theory. 1. Robert Hooke coined the term cell and was responsible for the beginnings of cytology. 2. Anton van Leeuwen Hooke was the first to see individual cells and recognize them as living units. 3. Matthias Schleiden and Theodor Schwann introduced the concept that all plants and animals are made up of cells. 4. Rudolf Wichau found out that cells divide to form new cells. 5. Robert Brown discovered the presence of nuclei within cells. Cytology is the study of cells. All living things are made up of cells. Life starts from a cell of fertilized egg or zygot. A zygot divides into two and each newly formed cell subdivides. Further divisions form a multitude of cells which organize into tissues, tissues into organs and organs into organ systems. Chemical basis of life. The cell which is the structural unit of life 
consists entirely of chemical substances. Of the 105 known elements today, only 4 constitute about 98% of living matter. These elements are hydrogen 10%, oxygen 65%, carbon 18% and nitrogen 3%. The remaining consists of calcium, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, sodium, sulfur, chlorine and a few others in minute amounts. Hydrogen, oxygen, carbon and nitrogen are among the highest and most abundant elements of the early earth. Hydrogen is the most reactive element, which combine with oxygen to form water, nitrogen to form ammonia, and carbon to form methane. In the laboratory a mixture of ammonia and methane, heated with hydrogen and carbon dioxide, and energized with electrical discharges generated several chemical compounds. Some included amino acids, sugars, fatty acids and nucleotides which are characteristic chemical substances found in living matter. Chemical Composition of Organisms The two main classes of compounds found in organisms, are the organic and inorganic compounds. The organic compounds contain the element carbon, while the inorganic compounds rarely contain carbon. The inorganic compounds found in living systems, are of four main types, namely acids, bases, salts, and water. Water is the most abundant, and is considered a universal solvent. The four main classes of organic compounds are carbohydrates, lipids, proteins, and nucleic acids.